Okay, here's a new one I've been playing around with. I've been wanting to build one of these for a while. Um, it's using a uh, sewing machine bobbin and uh, wound up like a Bedini coil by filer. I'm calling it the bobbin Bedini. And this is a John Bedini circuit modified, but it's a basically an SSG uh, John Bedini circuit uh, modified by me. And it's the Johnny Davro one magnet no bearing Bedini idea with a a uh, magnet spun up on a mirror and if you take a look at the specs on the uh, coil it's 30 gauge of uh, wire and uh, 200 turns by filer uh, basically 30 feet each on the coil and I'll pan this real slow to show the circuit uh, it's a one and a half volt battery type of scenario uh, with a charge point on the back end here you can use an LED or a 1N914 switching diode and you can run it right on back to the plus rail or you can use a, another 1.5 volt battery here to charge and then uh, this uh, transistor is a 2N222 or an MPS A06 transistor and uh, I'm using um, a MPS A06 today on it but they both work and what I have set up today is the the motors running here, and I don't know if you can see Maggie's eyes, but Mag with the broad daylight you can't even see this, but her eyes are on. And the motor's under load, and that's the little uh, Bob and Bedini coil right there, and that's what it looks like. When it's all built up, they look like that, and that's the whole thing uh, mounted. But uh, I've had a lot of fun with this one today, and it's breadboarded, and instead of the battery, I've got a 2200 uh, microfarad 50 volt cap right there and it's being driven by a little solar panel it's about a 5 volt solar panel out of one of those cell phone chargers and it's just tipped toward the window out there and it's a sunny day but it's not in uh, direct sunlight it's just picking up incident light and the motor's running at about 1 milliamp and that's the standing voltage on the cap uh, 1.36 volts on the cap so if you do your math, uh, 1 milliamp at 1.36 volts, that is very, very low wattage um, putting out that right there. And that's under load because Maggie constitutes a load. This is what it sounds like. This is my little radio here. It's putting along. It's a little pulse motor, so it sounds like putting along. Anyway, I just want to share that with people. This is the latest thing I've been fiddling with is this uh, bobbin Bedini. And that's just a sewing machine bobbin. Uh, all that is is a sewing machine bobbin round uh, by filer. And uh, once you get that coil, you can make lots of different circuits with it. And it's air core. There's no core in it. That's just a piece of wood inside that thing right there. And uh, that's just like my light multiplier, basically, only... Uh, I have it uh, wound different ways. Uh, this particular one here is a Bedini um, scenario, standard Bedini circuit, SSG, only instead of a monopole, it's got uh, two poles running in front of it, and it works just fine. Anyway, I just want to share that with people, that this is about as low as I've ever gotten a pulse motor to run at, at one milliamp. I can actually drop that down. If I lower this panel down out of the sun, this will go on down to about uh, 500 microamps and if I take Maggie off of the load here this will still run at uh, 500 microamps that's 0.5 milliamps and the cap is holding uh, at about 1.1 uh, 1 .1 volts now if that stops firing that cap voltage goes on up to about 5 volts and this is how I know if it's running or not or I can listen to it with my radio here and tell if it's still running. I can hear it with the radio if it's still running. So there's 500 microamps and about 1, uh, 1, 1 1.1 uh, volts on the cap. Here again, do the math on how many watts that's actually running at. And here again, listen to it again. This is actually running. 
and that's incident light in the house. That's not pointed at uh, any sort of a light source except the, the incident uh, solar energy that's being reflected through the window onto the table right there. It's not indirect sunlight. Anyway, I just want to share that with people that this would have been up to. I've been working on this little uh, bobbin Bedini motor and uh, that was a lot of fun. Had a lot of fun with this one. Thanks for watching.